convention, something we see... More than a thousand business and community leaders packed the On Center for the annual meeting of the Center State Corporation for Economic Opportunity. The theme was the reinvention of the local economy by embracing change. A few blocks away from the On Center, Adam Hanks was setting up his hot dog stand on South Salina in an area of downtown that has seen a lot of changes over his lifetime, but he remains optimistic. I know a lot of people are leaving the state now and they're leaving the central New York area, but I'm diehard. I'm, I'm here 27 years. I'm not going anywhere. At the On Center, the audience heard from the president of Xerox Corporation, a company that has adapted to change by reinventing itself, moving from copy machines into health care claims processing and transit fares like EasyPass. And so although things might not have been stable or, or may not have been as successful in the past, that doesn't mean it has to stay that way. And that's, that's the beauty of change. When community planners talk about reinventing Syracuse, one of the initiatives that they point to is the Connective Corridor, which would connect Syracuse University to downtown Syracuse with such things as this green bicycle path. It's actually one of $1.4 billion in investment that's now taking place in the city of Syracuse. $1.4 billion in public and private investment is being poured into Syracuse, not only for the Connective Corridor, there is a large-scale expansion at Upstate University Hospital where cranes will eventually change the skyline. And in downtown Syracuse, developers are turning once crumbling old buildings into an upscale urban residential neighborhood. All of this seems to fly in the face of a struggling economy. Household income lags behind the national average by 20 percent. We have the highest government costs in the nation and we've only regained 22% of the jobs lost during the recent recession. In order to be successful at reinventing yourselves, you have to invest. Uh, communities that are too timid, uh, they don't act quickly enough, uh, they aren't willing to invest, are not going to make the transition to the new economy successfully. Which brings us back to Adam, the hot dog vendor. He sees the reinvention around him, and he intends to be part of it. I definitely do believe it's underway. Yeah, there's a whole new generation of people out there that are looking into small business and their own businesses. And uh, it's a great place to grow up, to live, to work.